So I first saw about this pedal oof, a couple of weeks ago and I thought that's interesting. So obviously the, the first thought that you might have is, okay, that's basically an electro harmonics freeze, right? Let's put it in latch mode. And um, I think a few of us are probably familiar with what that pedal does and you know that's been around for quite a while now. Electro harmonics themselves have not really done much to improve that pedal over the years. They did add a soft switch which I think uh, people have been doing mods for a while. Game Changer Audio also brought out a, like a piano pedal style which was the same as the Freeze essentially as well um, but with this layers functionality. So. TC Electronic brought this thing out now, obviously TC Electronic now I think is Behringer but that doesn't particularly matter to me so much but this is the same kind of functionality, we've got fade in, fade out so and decay which would set how long it takes to decay out, we've got latch and momentary uh, switching so I've got it on latching mode at the moment, so you know, you just press it in and it sustains infinitely. If you have it in momentary, it's only going to sustain whilst you're holding it down. We could fade it in as well, which, you know, makes it a little bit more... One thing that I quite like is this dry reverb thing. So you hear it's dry there. Uh, if we switch the thing on, 
we're dry when the effect is off. And then when the effect is on, we have reverb. So if you had that in latch mode, we have reverb on for the whole time, so that'd be a bit less. Wouldn't we, I think? Yes, because we'd essentially have it so that it's always listening anyway, once you've pressed it once. Anyway, so I've shown you some of the tone prints as well earlier in the video. So we got this one here, which does this swell type effect. And just kills your dry. So I'm going to replace that if I can quickly with the tone print app. The only thing I feel like is missing from this kind of pedal is a proper editor. So try it again now. So I'm going to load tone print two. Think, and we'll have this in latch mode and apparently the decay will now control the reverb so let's just And then this fade-in controls the flanger. You hit, see we've got this infinite mode here. We can have infinite layers there and then we've also got these other layer modes so you can just set it to layer one and then you've just got the one layer. Oh, if we put it in latch mode. I think for me personally, the, the way that I would use it most would be in this layer one mode in latch mode with the decay set, you know, nicely in the fade in set nicely. And with that reverb on, uh, I think it's a, a really useful effect actually to have that reverb as well as the freeze effect is nice. And the modulation options are, are cool as well, because I think one of the things with the freeze is that it could sound fairly unnatural sometimes. Um, <laughs> Whereas this sounds a bit more. A bit more friendly. So the only negative for me is that the, the tone print stuff is a little bit clunky. And it might be nice just to have an editor where I could get in there and I could say, right, I want a chorus on. So I'm just gonna check whether I can do that. So if you plug in via USB, you can actually get into a proper editor where you can change all of the functions. So on tone print three now, I think I've got my own little. <laughs> preset. So if I turn this knob down, I can turn off the reverb. And as I turn the knob past this point, you get a bit of reverb. And then as I turn it up further, it changes the decay of the reverb.
but that software is not the most straightforward and there is not a manual for this yet so uh, it'd be nice to see that I think TC Behringer have a thing for not doing manuals at the moment but a really cool little pedal takes what the freeze can do and kind of multiplies it and so for me that could easily knock the freeze off of my board I think it sounds pretty much more natural I think and you can have that reverb which is useful and also modulation on the freeze and it's way more tweakable as well as having different presets so I think generally it's got a good reason to exist as well as the send and return effects loop which you could also apply as well so 14 thumbs up basically the freeze pedal but with a few more bells and whistles if you found this at all interesting or useful for determining whether this would do what you need please feel free to leave a comment and like and subscribe all that sort of stuff cheers oh i paid for this pedal by the way Thank mm -hmm. you.